So today we are doing something interesting. Um, our front door, uh, whenever we moved in, we used uh, the wrong chemicals on cleaning our porch and it had made spots. Um, I don't know if you can see these or not come up on um, the door when the chemicals were left there without being washed off. And so we have spots all over our front door. So today I am going to strip all of the stain off of this door and we are going to restain it. Here's a few of the products I bought to do this job. I watched YouTube videos all day yesterday, so we're hoping this goes smoothly. We're gonna put some paper down uh, because we're gonna be using paint stripper, um, some plastic drop cloths, tape, and scour pads, which are not steel wool because this is a fiberglass door. Um, so you're not supposed to use metal on a fiberglass door. So we're gonna see how this goes. Let's get started. So we're about an hour in to this job. Here's up, change shirts, so it's getting a little warm. And that's what we've got done. So it looks like this job might take a little longer than I was hoping. So I've got one side completely done and I'm working on the other side. I haven't really made it to the middle actual door yet, but um, I'm taking a break and I'm drinking my protein shake because this is definitely going to be considered my workout today. I am also not a gloves wearer, but after using 3M scrubbing pads for two hours, that is like the best scrub of my life, and I think I'm going to go buy some gloves. That hurts. So we've gotten all this taken off so far. Now I am gonna go to the paint store and look for some gel stain so that we can stain it after all of this comes off. All right, I'm headed home now. I got some dark walnut gel stain from a local paint store and I also got some polyurethane to paint over that whenever I get done so that it can protect it more from like sunlight and maybe hopefully if any chemicals happen to get on there again because um, I'm pretty sure there was never a polyurethane painted onto our door and um, so after that I went by Lowe's because I knew I had to get another handle for the outside door and holy cow they're like a hundred and sixty dollars so note to self do not mess up this handle it just occurred to me that maybe i could just paint the handle black and maybe paint some pol or spray some polyurethane over that we might see how that works
So the handle is pretty bad. I'm gonna try to use paint thinner to get this off before we spray paint it. All the stain is finally off. I left the stain on those because those aren't too bad. And I think I might just touch up those spots. Um, and I don't really care how dark they get. Um, I also wasn't like super tedious with some of the door because I knew I was going to be staining it the exact same color that it was before. But I did get the majority of the stain off. So, now it's time to wash it, and we're going to stain the door. Now I'm just going to spray the door with some Dawn, wash that off, and then stain the door. Welcome back. Today is a new day. I'm a little more tired than yesterday, but we have got coffee from my favorite place so we can get started again. So what went wrong yesterday with the gel stain was I applied it with a sponge brush. It did not look good whenever it was on. It was streaky, but I thought that I was supposed to wipe it off with a rag after I let it sit for a little but after I let it sit, I started wiping it away with a rag and it was so sticky and hard and it was leaving an ugly mess from what I was wiping. And so I ended up having to wipe it all off. And I called my aunt and uncle who have done doors that are um, fiberglass before. And they said that if I use a softer brush and apply it slowly, and take my time with it and make it look good like you're painting it on you don't wipe it off with anything you can take the brush another soft brush back over it to kind of like work it through um, So I am definitely at the point where I wish I would have hired someone to paint the door after I had taken off the stain. This is where we're at. This I'm happy with, pretty happy with. And this, I didn't wipe off enough stain. So it's like really dark. And I think I'm gonna take all of that off again happy with and this I didn't wipe off enough stain so it's like really dark and I think I'm gonna take all of that off again and try to do it differently this is super tedious okay I've removed all of that stain it was a lot easier to remove since it was fresh so that didn't take nearly as long as when I was removing it yesterday. So if you mess up, it's not too hard to remove. 
So I finally figured out how to stain and get the look that I want where you can still see the wood grain. I was using way too much stain. You just use a little bit of stain and drag it up so you can still see the grain. So all of that is done now. And I finally get to move on to the main door. Look who's done with the door. So we are finished. No more spots on the door. I'm gonna let that dry. And Monday I'm going to paint over it with a marine varnish. I was told to do that instead of polyurethane so it doesn't turn orange. So I'm gonna exchange what I got for some marine varnish. And also I just have to repaint this white trim which I was planning on doing anyways all around the door um, that's why I didn't tape any of that because I knew I was gonna repaint it and then I have to install my black handle that I painted which I'm probably gonna do tonight since I'm not gonna be finished with this until Monday but yay! I've got to say that was a ton of flipping work but I am so happy with the way it turned out. Good morning, we are back to finishing the door. Today I'm gonna put a varnish on it and also paint the trim. Before we do the varnish, we're gonna caulk some of this so that it'll be ready to paint whenever I finish coating the door with the varnish. <laughs> 